Expanding to new markets around the world is a great way to find new users and increase your revenue. We've gathered 10 tips developers have used to be truly local while they go global in order to find success. Many of these tips apply to apps too. Design your game with localization in mind. Going global starts with the design of your game's code and its screen layouts. Allow for variations in language, sentence structure, characters, and number presentations that you'll encounter when localizing. For example, building in 30% extra space in UI elements will help avoid issues in other languages. Store all the content you'll change when localizing in a resource file so you don't have to recode when you localize. Use system-provided formats for dates, times, numbers, and currencies so your app automatically matches the user's selection. Don't rely on a data connection. Cheap, reliable data connections aren't yet available to everyone. A game that continues to run without a data connection can dramatically increase its potential audience. Make your game's installation package as small as possible. Users sometimes skip installing big games due to device memory or bandwidth concerns. Research local audiences thoroughly. Understand your audience and everything that matters to them. Look out for significant cultural differences, game characters, levels, or scenarios that could possibly jar with local sensitivities. Look out for local interest in specific game genres. Casual games featuring cute characters do well in Japan and Korea, for instance, whereas war strategy games are big in Germany and Russia. Look out for how local users pay for games and in-app content. If carrier billing is common, monthly limits might affect how many and how often users make in-app purchases. Research general expectations in America and Europe. There are many common expectations among Western markets. Here, users are more engaged by simple character-based game icons without words, prefer screenshots showing actual gameplay, like to get started quickly and discover new features gradually, and a deep metagame can keep them coming back. Respond to item prices ending in 0.99. Research general expectations in Asia. There are also many common expectations among Eastern markets. For example, in Japan, users like casual games to have icons with cute, colorful characters in the anime and manga styles, but more hardcore games icons should reflect their game's theme. Prefer colorful screenshots that illustrate game world content and theme. Engage with casual games with a fairly steep learning curve. Expect app prices to end in zero. Often pre-register to get in-game items as rewards. Consider this a starting point for your own research. Use the app translation service. You should try to engage a professional third-party app translation service, or even your local fans, to do a high-quality translation of your app. You can also make use of the app translation service in the developer console. Simply send your original text in resource files. You don't need to amend your development processes to accommodate the translator. You should also add your Play Store listing text, so that too can be localized. Test localizations thoroughly. Testing is still essential because even small translation errors can prove embarrassing. And no matter how good your localization efforts are, they may leave some text truncated or incorrectly formatted. Test via locals. Reach out to your user community. You'll find a wealth of language skills and local knowledge there. Start marketing locally. A localized app needs localized marketing. Local marketing can include a localized store listing, support from local user community members, spreading the word in their language on global social media and local channels too, a localized press pack sent out to key media and bloggers, and localized ad campaigns to kickstart local installs and boost local launches. Create a gameplay video trailer for your store listing. Users like to get a good idea of a game's gameplay before they install it. Adding a trailer to your Play Store listing will help them decide. When you're creating a trailer, make sure you create market-specific versions. Highlight features of the game that will hold most local appeal. Go for a localized voiceover, or use translated subtitles if you can't. Support and interact with your local users. The developer console automatically translates Google Play reviews, so you can read reviews from users around the world. 
Respond to these users. Let them know their opinions matter and how you're incorporating their feedback. Users will appreciate the effort if you can respond in their language. You can also use beta testing to test your game and game's localization with enthusiastic users in a specific country before launching more widely. For more information on localizing your app and launching in local markets, head over to the Distribute section of the Android Developer website. If you want more tips on how to improve your app or game's performance and build a better app business, check out the other videos in this series and download the secrets to app success on Google Play.